he likes it. And he should. Hello. Hello. Drinks for the house. And that brilliant wedge leaves Nick Faldo a four-footer for par. He matches Floyd's birdie at the hole and remains three up. The gem of a shot under the hole, leaving his partner stone dead for his birdie four. But Faldo's birdie evens the match with Pavin and Lehman with five holes to play. Nick Faldo and Lee Westwood, one down, awkward stance for Faldo at 17. He's taken a wood, this has to be perfect. Oh, and it is. Time and time again, these players can produce the most amazing shots. Nick Faldo is one up over Floyd through six. Here at seven, Faldo drains this 15-foot eagle putt to extend his margin to two. This 14th has been very kind to the Europeans so far this week. Oh, how did that stay out of the hole? <laughs> Terrific shot from Faldo. Probably a seven arm. He likes it. Come on, Ed. Wonderful shot. Wonderful shot. Way a little bit to the right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. slammed it in there. Beautiful. Nick Faldo, again teamed with Woosnam, trails Floyd and couples by one, coming to the eighth. Faldo's splendid tee shot nearly finds the hole, and their match is now all square. At the fourth hole, Faldo just over the green. Another birdie for Faldo. We're at 11 now, and that is a second shot of Nick Faldo at 11, which is another par four. Get it Faldo and Montgomery lead Watkins and Pavin three up. So in the ebb and flow of match play, Faldo now knows a par putt wins the hole. And he has the other advantage of following Strange's line. Strange and Faldo go to 18, all square. and Faldo playing in a historic match more than anyone in history. His 41st Ryder Cup match has assured the fact that the USA can't win, can only hope for a tie, and a tie would retain the cup. <laughs> Seve Ballesteros, as emotional as anyone in the European camp, 